What's going on guys and girls, LA Nick? So this is one of the most unique things I've seen here. This is a 1952 Vincent that someone put a blower on. And it's pretty crazy, man. It has a Utah soft flats sticker on the back, so someone raced this on the soft flats. And it's pretty crazy engineered. It's over the top. It's got the chains all rigid hard, but I think it'll run. I think it'll turn over. I really do. But it's got some crazy, like, look, look at this rear disc, man. It's like sheet metal. But look at that blower. What size was that blower? 471. 471. That's GM stuff, so they stuffed the GM blower in there. They did a good job. A little faucet. Sink faucet thing. <laughs> so I I actually had an injector system like this at one time that had this in, this injection. It's really crude injection, and it constantly dripped fuel. And the way to cure that is put a remote float bolt from an old Delorto off the tank, so it can't just keep. Cause it'll empty the whole tank out. It'll never stop dripping. I like to hear this thing run. I like to see it run. I think it will run. I think the problem right now is the clutch and the blower chain so rigid it won't turn over. But pretty cool, Vincent, old old salt racer. It's pretty neat. Definitely pretty cool. Alright guys, thanks for watching and share, share, share. Thanks. 49 HRD Vincent. It's pretty nice. One of the cleaner ones I've seen here at Meekum, Las Vegas. I would love to own it, but it's probably way out of my price point. It's at 50, 60. Stuck at 60. Stuck at 60. 65. 85. 85. 82, sorry, 84, 85, it's back to 85. One of the prettiest engines ever made. I can talk, can he? He's a fast talker. Oh, 86,000. It's nice, though. It's definitely a nice bike. All right, guys. See you soon. Thanks for watching. What's going on, kids? Zoe and Nick at Barber Heritage Days. Two Vincent Black Shadows. A 49 and a 52. Man, are they beautiful. Yeah, they're super sharp, man. I really like this one a lot. I don't know why I don't usually like big powdered blue bikes, but this one pops. Very, very nice. Beautiful. I don't know if you guys watched last week in Italy that had that Vincent that was really nice too. That thing was grand like a champ, man. The guy was keeping up with us at 120. But this is pretty nice. Pretty nice. I like to hear one run. It's crazy how they did the suspension.
pretty sweet. What's going on, kids? Though, Nick? Here's my old Suzuki, and that I bought from Philip. <laughs> and then I got it, got it running, and Bob bought it. But he bought it from you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And he bought it from me. I bought it for him in Miami. Uh -huh. Brought it to Lauderdale, I mean, to Minnesota. Now it's in. So you live in Minnesota? I live in Minnesota. Now it's in Kansas City. And I'll tell you this story. I bought this bike from him. I was in a rental car driving to Daytona. I get to Daytona. I show some people the pictures. They said, where's that bike? I said, it's in Miami. They said, you need to go buy that bike. So I call him back and I offer him money for it. And he said, yeah, I'll sell for that. So I drive back down there. I, I, I'm in a rental car. And I'm like, well, how am I going to go get this bike? Some guy I don't even know said, here, take my van. <laughs> and that's how, that's how I met this Dave, who I'm good friends with now. Yeah. And then I... Don, Don, Don Bullpen. Yeah, Don, David Bullpen. So then I, I said, I'm not going to be back tonight. It's, it was, I got to his place at like 5 o'clock. It was getting dark yeah, was and getting I had dark. friends in West Palm so I stayed in West Palm for the night and then drove back to Daytona the next day and met like 10 people through the whole deal yeah <laughs> this, this bike is so but you else. went initially for the for the uh, gesture parts. parts yeah <laughs> you know what, what a lineage of but yeah story. he got it got yeah, it up and going it before, uh, for me, for the estate Oh, Dick Valance? Yeah, before yeah. Dick All right, Valance, see you guys. He was in, oh, here's uh, his Canada, water buffalo. And I found it on, on the internet. He bought it in Daytona. Hey, will, will it start easy? Huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, can you? Right yeah. You better move and you're going to gas Oh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to. I'll get her straightened up here. It's like, uh, got any mosquitoes? We All right, up. we're going to start her up. You think I'm kidding? Watch this. Wait, let me get out from behind it. Yeah. We, we should take those uh, caps off there, Bob. Watch out, you're going to hit your bike. Don't hit your bike. Oh, that's cool. I want to hear it without those... Uh... Oh, that's that's why he's running rich. Dan's supposed to be on yeah. it. Yeah, who put those on? He did. He did. He did. Yeah. yeah. Oh, take them off. Let's see. Take them off. We're all sitting taking it, it off. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to yeah. choke it because I've had it run. No, just start it up. We all want you to take those off. This is what I love about it was when tools. the first time I started it, this is exactly how it started. I already ran it, so I know. Ah, should have never sold this bike. There it is. Brian Kenny's old race bike back on the road. See you guys. What's going on, kids? Zoe and Nick. A CR Rickman 900, 1974. The original gel coat, no paint. That is the gel coat. It's pretty damn good shape for 74. Got a couple little spots, but nothing bad. A couple spider webs on the Yeah, not the bad, not bad though. Room, but for gel coat, not yeah, it's paint. gel coat. The original gel coat. Uh, drilled out. That's original that's drilled out like that. Berani rims. Ten years I've looked and I haven't seen on that. Yeah, it's a pretty rare bike. I love it. Is it a runner? Runs perfect. I had it 110 down the Beeline Highway last week running with Johnny Bomber. Any way we can hear it? Because people on my page would love to hear it. never find this again. I'll never find it again. If it's gone, it's gone. I know. It's one of those bikes that you won't ever find again. And like I say, it sat like this in a guy's house since 1975. 3,000 miles ago, one summer, boom. I don't know, man. I don't know if I could sell it. <laughs> Ten years of sitting in my living room, you know, I'm just gonna change it up. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. That's well, tough one. It's a tough one to let go of there. That's a cool little toy too. 
Well, in the sidecar. I think it was a carnival ride. Alright guys, I'll show you stuff more cool stuff. See it. What's going on kids, Zoe Nick at Barber Heritage Days. Two Vincent Black Shadows. A 49 and a 52. Man, are they beautiful. Yeah, they're super sharp, man. I really like this one a lot. I don't know why I don't usually like bay powdered blue bikes, but this one pops. Very, very nice. Beautiful. I don't know if you guys watched last week in Italy. They had that Vincent that was really nice, too. That thing was grand like a champ, man. The guy was keeping up with us at 120. But this is pretty nice. Pretty nice. I like to hear one run. It's crazy how they did the suspension. Pretty sweet. All right, guys, I will shoot whatever I see that's cool. I don't know, this, this, I don't usually like this color, but that one really pops, man. All right, guys, see it. What's going on, kids? Pretty cool bike right here. Something you'll never see. 1960. Can you see that name? Pannonia. Pannonia. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but it's P A N N O N I A. It's pretty cool. I really like the way they did the body. Love the way they closed the handlebars. Everything about it's cool. It's almost like the aerial leader all closed in. Reminds me of that, but a bigger bike, much bigger. Then the aerial leader, a little bit red seat. Pretty cool. These are chapels. They're all made in the same factory. And then a guy was importing some of these earlier ones in the in the California, and they came up in America badged white. The guy's name was Jack White. I remember them. Very hard. It's hard to find now. Anyway, start a share. There's some other stuff I'll share with you. Just making our way through Hungary and checking out Hungarian brands because not many people know them. All right, guys, have a great day. Pagnolia. Pagnonia. Pagnonia. Hungarian. Two stroke. <laughs> Two fifty. Two stroke. Choke.
Okay, guys, I will shoot some more. We're going with lots of motorcycle collections here in, in, in Hungary. So we're going to tour tomorrow in Budapest, so I'll make sure I shoot every bike. All right, see you guys. What's up, guys? L.A. Nick. We are at Benelli Week, and we hit this collection outside of Rimini. Not uncommon to find a three, four hundred bike private collection, and this guy's got some really cool stuff. And look at this old Air Mashi Harley. Never seen one of those. Never seen a lot of stuff. Balsamo. Look at that bike. Balsamo is just insane, man. They made some crazy shit. Never seen this bike. Motoretto. Engines kind of in the rear. The Rumi. Seen every Rumi because we've been the Rumi before. I took you guys there last year. Modem. This guy's got some really, really, really unique stuff. There's uh, AGS. Here's an Indian. I believe this is an Indian. No, it's not either. Not even. Uh, New Imperial. New one on me. Frere. This guy's just a rooch. This guy's got him stashed everywhere, man. Just everywhere. Look at that Flank Tank Norton. Flank Tank Norton's pretty cool. These are some of my favorites. Gala, really pretty bike. Piece of art. Here's a Nira car. They actually had a hood. It closed the engine, and uh, it's closest to a car as you can get. There's a Sunbeam. Pretty cool bike. Look at that, wicker seats. What is that? Auto Mucci. Never heard of it. That's cra it's crazy looking. Really crazy looking. It's not uncommon to find these collections throughout Italy. Everybody has a massive bike collection. And this guy's got a big variety. Look at this thing. That's a Ducati. Ducati. I've never seen that before. Mako Mobile. I don't know what this is. It says Ducati on the other side, but I've never seen it before. Never seen it before. Pretty neat, though. I mean, this is, just goes on. It's just endless, man. Endless. Let's check that upstairs. We have a Bimota Kawasaki. This is just another, just a private, some guy's house, man. Not uncommon. Not uncommon. He's big in this, into these fair, Ferreras. He got a lot of them. I've never even heard of them. This guy's got like 100 of them. Frere, 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 Norton. Wow, this guy's got a lot of stuff, man. Look at that old goosey. That's a nice look to it there. He's got a lot of variety, man. Look at there. The motor, the motor. Got a lot of nice stuff, man. There's the Benelli, one of the most famous Benellis. Well, this model was very famous, Benelli 500. This is all gears, from gear all the way gear, no chain. This bike changed Benelli, won a lot of races for Benelli. Very uh, groundbreaking for Benelli. Love the MV. Big oh, double overhead cannon, the Augusta 750. Something I dream of. All right, guys, I am going to a lot of collections this week throughout Italy, so I will keep posting video, and hope you enjoy them. See you guys.